Imagine meeting someone for the first time. What's your first instinct? You probably notice their appearance, their body language, and the way they speak. All these elements come together to form your initial impression of them. You form an impression, right? This impression can be positive, negative, or neutral, but it sets the stage for all future interactions. It's the same with writing. The first few sentences of your essay or article are crucial. They are the gateway to your entire piece. Your introduction is your first impression, a handshake with the reader. Just as a firm handshake can convey confidence and friendliness, a well-crafted introduction can draw your reader in and make them want to read more. A strong introduction pulls readers in, sparking curiosity and setting the tone for what's to come. It gives them a reason to invest their time and attention in your writing. It's the foundation upon which the rest of your essay will be built. Just like a building needs a solid base to stand tall, your writing needs a strong introduction to support the ideas that follow. Without a strong introduction, you risk losing your reader before they even begin. They might close the book or click away from the screen, never giving your work a fair chance. A weak introduction can make your writing seem unfocused and uninteresting. It can leave your reader confused or bored, wondering why they should continue reading. It's like starting a speech with um, or a song with a shaky note. These missteps can make your audience doubt your credibility and lose interest quickly. It just doesn't grab the listener. They might tune out, missing the valuable points you have to share. A powerful introduction, however, sets the stage for a captivating read. It hooks the reader's attention and makes them eager to find out more. It promises intrigue, knowledge or a fresh perspective. It tells the reader that what follows is worth their time and attention. It tells your reader, hey, you should stick around. This is going to be good. It builds anticipation and sets the tone for the rest of your piece. In the following sections, we'll explore the elements of a compelling introduction and how you can master this crucial writing skill. We'll look at different techniques and strategies to make your introductions stand out. Get ready to make your words count from the very first sentence. With the right approach, you can create introductions that captivate, inform and inspire your readers, setting the stage for a memorable and impactful piece of writing. Think of your opening line as a fishing hook. Just like a fisherman carefully selects his hook to catch the best fish, you need to craft your opening line to catch your reader's attention. Your goal is to cast it out and reel your reader in. The first few words are crucial. They set the tone and create the first impression. But how do you craft bait that's irresistible? It's not just about the hook. It's about the bait you use. The right bait can make all the difference. There are a few tried and true methods techniques that have been proven to work time and time again. Start with a startling statistic. This method is particularly effective because it immediately provides the reader with something concrete and thought-provoking. Numbers have a way of grabbing attention and making us think. They provide a sense of scale and importance that can be very compelling. For example, over 50% of people feel this kind of statement not only provides information, but also invites the reader to reflect on their own experiences. Immediately makes the reader wonder, do I feel that way too? This personal connection can be very powerful. Pose a thought-provoking question. Questions are a great way to engage the reader's mind and make them think about the topic at hand. A well-placed question stops the reader in their tracks and compels them to consider the answer. It creates a sense of curiosity and engagement. Have you ever wondered why? This kind of question can be very effective because it taps into the reader's natural curiosity. Instantly engages the reader's curiosity 
it makes them want to read on to find out the answer. Use a powerful quote. Quotes can be very effective because they bring in the authority and wisdom of another voice. A quote from a well-known figure or a particularly striking phrase can lend authority and intrigue to your writing. It can provide a sense of depth and context. As Maya Angelou once said, this kind of introduction can immediately draw the reader in and set a tone of wisdom and insight. Immediately piques the reader's interest and sets a tone of wisdom and insight. It makes the reader feel like they are about to learn something valuable. Remember, your opening line is your first and best chance to capture your reader's interest. Make it count. The first impression is often the most lasting, so take the time to craft an opener that truly shines. In the next section, we'll explore how to build on that strong opening and craft a complete introduction. Stay tuned as we dive deeper into the art of captivating your audience from the very first sentence. Once you've hooked your reader, you need to set the stage for your essay. This is a crucial step because it sets the tone for the entire piece. This is where you provide some context and introduce your main idea. Think of it as the foundation upon which your entire essay will be built. Think of it as giving your reader a quick tour of the landscape before you dive into the details. Just like a tour guide, you need to highlight the key points and set expectations. Start by providing any necessary background information. This could include historical context, definitions of key terms, or an overview of the topic. If you're writing about a specific event, person, or concept, make sure your reader has the basic information they need to understand your essay. This background information acts as a primer for your main argument. Keep it concise and relevant to your main topic. Avoid unnecessary details that could distract from your main point. Keep it concise and relevant to your main topic. This ensures that your reader stays focused and doesn't get lost in extraneous information. Next, clearly state your thesis statement. This is the central argument or main point of your essay. It's the anchor that holds your entire essay together. This is the central argument or main point of your essay. Your thesis statement should be clear, concise and easy to understand. Your thesis statement should be clear, concise and easy to understand. It should leave no room for ambiguity. It tells your reader what you'll be exploring in your writing. This gives them a roadmap of what to expect. Finally, briefly preview the main points you'll be discussing. This helps your reader understand the structure of your essay and what to expect in the coming sections. This helps your reader understand the structure of your essay and what to expect in the coming sections. A well-organized introduction sets the stage for a coherent and logical argument. A roadmap like this makes your writing more accessible and keeps the reader engaged. It acts as a guide, helping them navigate through your arguments and points. By following these steps, you'll create an introduction that not only grabs the reader's attention, but also lays the groundwork for a compelling and well-structured essay. An engaging introduction is the first step towards a successful essay, but also lays the groundwork for a compelling and well-structured essay. Remember, a strong introduction is the key to a strong essay. It sets the tone, provides context, and guides your reader through your argument. Questions are powerful tools in writing. They invite the reader to actively participate in the conversation you're creating. Instead of passively receiving information, a well-placed question makes them think, reflect, and form their own opinions. Think about it. When someone asks you a question, don't you feel compelled to answer? 
It's human nature to want to engage in a dialogue, even if it's just an internal one. Use questions strategically throughout your introduction to pique the reader's curiosity and encourage them to keep reading. For example, you could ask, what if there was a better way to? Have you ever wondered why? What would happen if? These types of questions create intrigue and set